Chapter 72. Coop Loop, I said. Coop laughed. That's when the fans started to wind down. Kate was clearly relieved to see us, but all she said before she switched the fan back on was, Hold your breath. We stumbled out of the sewer tunnel, eyes watering, gagging. Kate led us to another tunnel to catch our breath and regain our sight. I thought I was dead when Lot insisted on checking on you in the infirmary, she looked at me. You were under the bed? I nodded. Why did you take so long to leave? I was on the bridge when Laud came out of the elevator. I listened for a few minutes. I got to the infirmary just before you came in. Sorry. You have nothing to be sorry about. If Coop had been gone when Lord wa Laud walked in, the rots would have been on you before you reached the basement. That's about the only good luck we've had. What's the matter? Coop asked. My grandfather. He has almost the entire compound out looking for Pat. He's calling it the Christmas Drill. But what he's really trying to do is prove me wrong. I embarrassed him publicly. She looked at her watch. And in about 45 minutes, when they bring your dinner to the infirmary, he's going to be proven right. With the radios out, it will take them a while to let you know, Coop said. Kate shook her head. The radios are back up. Not only that, he's making everyone work in teams, just like we do up top. I teamed up with Mike. The originals are in the control room tracking us right now especially me. You don't have your Bluetooth? I said. I left it with Mike along with my radio. Turns out he has a weak stomach. When I started down the sewer tunnel, he lost his Christmas breakfast. A lot of people do that the first time. I told him that Laud would never make him a shadow if he found out. So he's waiting up ahead with Engie. What are we going to do about him? Coop said. He won't come to the sewer tunnel looking for me, but he's not going to wait where he is forever either. He'll call in and say that we got separated or something. I don't want to hurt him, but if I have to... Coop reached into his pocket and pulled out his handcuffs. These didn't hurt, and they kept me from wandering around. Those will do nicely. Coop offered to give her a hand with Mike, but she turned him down, saying that shadows were well-trained. The diminutive Kate walked off with the cuffs. You've spent more time with her than I have, Coop said. What do you think she meant by that? I think she meant that Mike wouldn't be a problem for her, and neither would we if she decided to kick our butts.